Today in our 2012 Ford F-150, we're going to show you how to install the Tecancha Power Track Electronic Trailer Brake Controller. This time delayed controller works for one up to two axles. Part number on it is 39523. We're also going to be using the Tecancha plug-in wiring adapter for electronic trailer brake controllers. Part number 22292. Now we'll plug in our trailer or trailer tester. And with that connection made, we should see our light on. This is going to indicate that we've got a good connection with our trailer. And we'll want to glance at that every now and then as we head down the road, because if that goes off, that means our trailers come disconnected. It gives us a good diagnostic tool while we're traveling. Now the Tecancha Power Track is going to be a time-delayed brake controller. So we don't have to mess with the inertia sensors in there. It doesn't have any of the, the little pendulum style connections. So we can mount this just about anywhere. We're not limited on angle can't be too far up or too far down. There's no limits really as to where we can mount this. Of course, we always recommend you do keep it within reach. That way you can get to the manual override lever if you need it in case of an emergency. You'll see as we slide our manual override lever, we're gradually gonna increase the amount of braking power that's going to our trailer. The darker red the light turns, the more power is going to our trailer. Nice thing about the setup is we can dial it in for every trailer every time. Depending on the weight of the trailer, we can turn our gain down. You can see it sends almost no braking power rearward. But as we turn our dial down, you can see that's going to gradually increase the amount of braking power that we have going to our trailer. To we ultimately get to that dark red color, indicating we're getting full power going back to the trailer. The lighter settings are going to be for your lighter or empty trailers. And as that gets higher and higher and higher, the weight on that trailer should be higher and higher and higher. This is going to give us more braking power to help slow down the trailer when we do decide to brake. Now to begin the installation of our brake controller, we want to look right under the steering wheel area here and just to the right of the diagnostics port. And up here on this wire loom, there should be a gray plug attached to it. You'll see it's secured with just a little bit of electrical tape there, so pull it down far enough to where you can trim it off. And then our plug will come down. Now this has a cover on it. Little tab right here, if you push that, it's gonna allow you to pull that cover off. And then we can take our pigtail adapter, that part number 22292, and plug it right in. Just like that. And now we've got a ready-made connector that will slide right into the back of our brake controller. Let's get that mounted now. Now for mounting our bracket, you'll see that we're going to have two holes here on the top. Those we're going to screw right up into this flat panel on our dash. And then as mounting options, we'll have two holes there on the top, one and two. And then we'll have those lower holes. Now I think those lower holes are going to be the best ones for us, but let's get this up in place. We've got provided self-tapping screws need a quarter inch bit driver or quarter inch socket to help you get them installed. Now we'll bring the power track up. Now on each side we're going to have a couple of holes. We want to line those up with the holes in our bracket that are most appropriate. Looks like the lower set's going to work the best for us here. And again, same size screws we're going to just thread into the side. All right, that's going to give us a nice secure mounting area. Now you see the pigtail coming out of the back is a match for our plug. We just plug that together, make sure we've got a good connection. And then our excess wiring here. It's good to just make a bundle with that. And right up here, we're going to find a wire loom that runs across the dashboard. It's a great area to get that secured off to. Now using our tester, we'll be able to show you the signal from our brake controller. As you'll see as I start to apply the manual override lever, both the brake current and voltage increase showing us the power that would be going through that brake controller wire to the brakes on our trailer. Now their brake controller working as it should, that's going to complete our installation of the Tecancha Power Track Electronic Time Delayed Brake Controller. 
for one up to two axles. Part number 39523 and our 2012 Ford F-150.